So today guys I'm going to be showing you how to make this a ruby beacon mug. Now specifically I'm going to be showing you how to make um, the Ublek one but you'll see that the difference between the Ublek and the Ospin are very simple. For example I believe this one, yeah, this one here which isn't great which we'll talk about later um, would class as an Ublek mug because it has two logos, one on each side where Ozpin simply only has the one. So it's quite up to you on which way you have it. The squarer the mugs the better, and the longer the handles are, the more accurate it is as well. And to be honest, it's more comfortable to hold, in my opinion. So that is what we're going to be making. For this, you will need a blank mug, pretty simple. You will need some clear adhesive spray. Now, I'd recommend looking for ones that say non-yellowing, because that is something we'll talk about in a bit, but it is very important that it has non-yellowing. You also need some of this, which is Decal A4 water slide paper, clear, because this is what you're going to be putting your design onto. And finally, you need a computer with the design and a printer. When that's done, just either leave to dry naturally over a couple of hours or heat slowly with a hairdryer, but don't get it too hot. So while that's drying, let me explain why this one worked, but this one didn't. It was all to do with the spray. Now, I mentioned earlier about one talking about non-yellowing, well some that do pretty much the same thing have a yellowing effect. Now, if I show you this one closely, I don't think you can maybe make it out in the camera, it's a lot more visible in person, but it's really, like compared to the white, it's very yellow that's why it's called the yellowing um, whereas this one with the perfectly clear see how the color seems to just blend in it makes it much less obvious where the edges I mean that one's even worse but that's probably just because it's been in a shed for two years <laughs> But yeah, the yellowing effect is a massive difference. So always look out for the non-yellowing. And I'm pretty sure I called this a adhesive before. No, it's a sealer, not adhesive. Now you want to be spraying in a well-ventilated area like outside. However, I do not recommend leaving stuff outside, especially this, to dry because rain, drops of water, anything could ruin this especially like even just dirt flying in the air that could land on it so i recommend spraying it outside but then taking it indoors out the way of anything to dry next you need to cut them out now you can simply leave them as squarish like that, but I find to make it blend in best, it's best to just give a rough outline. Now you don't want to actually go onto where the ink is, but just leave a small barrier around it, as long as you're just not touching it. Now, I'm putting all these over to the side for now, because we don't want these to get wet while we're doing this. So then, you want to get your mug, and we'll be sticking this dead flat on the side. Now, the easiest thing I find is to get your mug to stay perfectly level. Now, I've simply just got a stone which I can just put underneath there and there keeping it level. Now, we need to get this wet. So, here I've just got a um, lunchbox filled with water. So, we'll just submerge the decal it wants to curl up so you want to just keep it open with your fingers and you can fit your when it wants to stop like expanding it just wants to start relaxing 
like more. So he's still trying to curl up at the minute. So I'm keeping it held open. And eventually it'll just feel like it doesn't want to like pull anymore and it's just relaxed. It's getting there. You can see it's definitely getting there. A few more seconds and that should be fine. I want to wet the top of the glass just to give the decal a little bit of movement when you bring it on. So bring it across, hold the top, slide the bottom away like so. And now you've got your adjustment time here. Now I've actually got this upside down the mug so it wants to be that way around the bottom of the mug is here. Um, so adjust that where Get it where I roughly want it. Then grab some tissues. Just dry my fingers to start with. Hold the decal roughly in the spot I want it. See, I'm, I have moved it slightly, but it doesn't matter because we've still got a bit of movement time yet. It hasn't fully dried. I'm trying to get any wrinkles out if there are any in this period. And straighten it up. Still getting rid of wrinkles, straighten it a bit more, getting rid of that wrinkle again and once again just pushing to the edges all the water just in case there is any little bits of water underneath and there we go so you can stand that up now there's a bit of water on the back side of where we put the other one but we can just simply wipe that away. So there we go. Get rid of all the water. Now, you could finish with it there, but there is just one last thing I like to do. And finally, I'd just like to give him another coat with this stuff. So, and there we go. So we have one Ospin mug and two Ublek mugs. The reason this became an Ospin mug was because this one that I did, I don't know if you can see at the top here, I accidentally touched it with my finger, which was slightly damp before I sprayed it, so it basically ruined it. Uh, so I didn't want to bother putting that one on. I thought I'd just make that one an Ospin mug in the first place. So yeah, so Ospin mug, no size, Ublex, both sides. So in the future, I'll probably, will, except for this one, because this one's fine, um, I'll probably just remove all of those from this. To be honest, the easiest way of probably doing that is literally put them in the dishwasher, because they don't stand up particularly that well. With a dishwasher, hand washing there it seemed to be fine. I've never had any problems. I have had one survive in the dishwasher, but I think it was a, a Ublek one and only one side actually survived the dishwasher. So I would not recommend if you're using this method to put them in a dishwasher. But there you go. Here's a simple way to do them and pretty cheap. So I would say these uh, an Alps pin mug to make probably costs are in the region of 70p whereas an Ublek one maybe costs about a quid um, it's really not much money the priciest bit is literally the mug itself um, so yeah if you want to have a go at making your own now you know how so I hope you've enjoyed this video make sure to check out some of our other videos and we will see you in the next one don't remember to, remember to like, comment and subscribe. Bye.